Hey there, this is Sea Witch Piper. This is a video, um, it's a t tutorial on how to um, use the movie cam feature in Rome Total War. Uh, this is quite a handy feature in the game. It allows you to make pretty cool videos and movies of uh, battles. Um, it's quite interesting. Um, gives you be better angles in uh, the battle replay. Um, so we're going to get right into it. First thing to do is um, exactly the same as making the, um, the battle editor to work. Uh, you firstly create a shortcut with the Rome to War icon. Um, you right click on the icon and go down to properties. And then it seems bef same as before when you edit the icon with the battle editor except this time after the exclamation marks in the field um, in the target field you want to leave a space dash and then movie cam movie under slash cam and that's quite important to get the uh, feature activated Um, I'm using screenshots to show this, this time, as opposed to the screen recorder that I used last time with the battle editor. Um, it was just really, really bad quality, and so hopefully this is a better way of showing this. So we're going to go right into it now, and once we've loaded up the game, you go to load game, load battle replay, and this enables you to make a battle uh, movie cam. Or battle replay for using movie cam with any of the battles that you save as a replay. So we're gonna use one of the videos that um, I played a few nights ago with my it was myself with the uh, T grains from the Beach Clan. We'll, we'll go straight into this. And first thing you realise that um, it has the same appearance as um, a regular replay, except you've got some writing down the sides. This is just to help you with um, when events occur in the battle, but to be honest you don't really need this. Um, some keys you want to learn. Um, to go forward, it's the arrow key. To go back, downwards arrow key, turn right, right arrow, to turn left, left arrow. You want to sort of strafe along, you press the 1 button, strafe to the right, the 3 button. Um, to look up, it's the plus button, to look down, negative button, look up, well to, to move up. Um, start button to go down it's the dash button and what I'll do is I will um, put all these commands in the video description so you can refer back to it when you make your own videos it will start using some basic commands and then we'll move on to some advanced commands afterwards and um, to actually start the battle you just press enter and that starts the battle as it would do in the example of battle replay. And you can see in this battle, um, it's basically myself, T grains, and we're fighting against two other Roman factions. So it's basically a Rome versus Rome battle. So we started the game, press enter. To pause it, you press P for pause, or you can press spacebar and do it manually. Spacebar brings up these icons, brings up your um, information at the side, and also pauses the game. Important. So that's basically a run through the basic commands. Um, what I'll do now is I'm going to go over what you call um, keyframes. This enables you to um, actually make a movie um, watching the the camera flow by itself as opposed to actually moving like this and it enables you to make proper sort of 
cinematic movies. So, the first thing to do is... I'm going to stop the game, right? To insert a keyframe. Basically, it's the INS button, the insert. So, what we'll do is, I will demonstrate this fast. And... Another it, another point to realise that you always have to press the insert button as the game's running. It won't work when the game's in pause. What we'll do is we will do a keyframe movie animation using T Grains Archers. So we go like this area. We're gonna zoom down and get in, into position. Start the game, insert, and then you can either pause it and move to where you want the camera to be, or you can just move the camera whilst the game's running. However, if you pause it, it gives you more uh, gives you more uh, time to position the camera, and basically it tends to look better um, from when I use it. So it's best to pause the game, position the camera, and then start the game again. So, if you see at the bottom, um, that's our first keyframe there. We're going to start the game again. Press insert. And now there's two keyframes. So, this is like one clip of archers firing. You can use the dash buttons to move between frames, like that. The left dash or left bracket, whatever you want to call it, I'll, I'll put these commands in the description. That moves to the previous keyframe, pressing the right moves to the the next keyframe. If you press the space bar, that shows you how that will look when the game's running. In order to in order to see um, this actual keyframe as the battle's developing, as it's going on, you have to restart the um, the game. So what we'll do is we'll make a couple of other keyframes first, and then we'll go back to see how they turn out. We'll do one of um, the battle was against two players, someone and nobody. Uh, they were friends; they were actually pretty good. So we'll do one of the cavalry chasing down T grains. archers so again enter insert we've paused it and now we're going to reposition the camera to where we want it to be when the game starts and we've got a nice little um, angle there against the sunlight enter insert that's our next keyframe something to bear in mind um, to separate keyframes um, if you look here uh, the archers that's changed since um, we actually did that command the archers it's totally different what's happened there is um, the computer likes to um, have a smooth it doesn't like jaggy actions so it's basically joined up our second keyframe with the third keyframe and we need to separate them the way you do this is you press the end button now we've got two separate clips and we want to separate that one as well so we press the end button okay, we'll do a few other ones and then we'll look at it in real time do one of the two REI have them looking at the cavalry coming down again enter INS that's quite a nice shot there. Let's do another key thing there. That's pretty nice. Okay, um, obviously, go back to the first keyframe. The battle's moved on from that position. So what we do is we need to save the replay and watch it from the start. So you press S to save the replay and you press R to load. Now 
remember back at the start, um, we need to load up our previous keyframes. So you press the L button, and now you press Enter. And this is basically the game loading up the keyframes. There are some of the shots we have. And the game's running to the last keyframe. And basically, T Vanes is charging in the cavalry there. So we'll try and get some shots of the cavalry. Then, this INS button. from um, shots and cavalry and you can measure how fast it is by doing that um, for example say if I wanted to make that faster um, you can press the the arrow keys well, I don't know what they're called it's the the triangles turned around to the sides the greater and less than keys so say if I wanted to make that faster I press the the left handed key to speed that up and you can see um, they're much faster. I wanted to make it longer, press the right handed one. Longer now. Um, the last thing for this tutorial is um, there, there's a button called uh, Ease Button. Um, I'll give you a, show an example. Um, this button helps uh, certain situations. For example, see if I was up really, really high. I wanted to... Oh. I was up really, really high and I was coming down to zoom in and like course. And I went somewhere else like this. Get yeah, a pretty bad situation. Whereas the ease button, pressing E, kind of helps these movements better. Kind of hard to describe, describe, but it does help a lot. The E button in certain situations, like fast movements, you can use the E button. And, and when that's activated on the keyframes, it actually turns turns the keyframe uh, black. So if I just separate that out a little bit, the black keyframe like that. So. Basically, when the camera goes down, it's bad because it looks really bad like that. Add a keyframe in there to stop that happening. So pressing the E button stops that happening. So instead of that awful under the ground movie section, um, it just goes straight to the soldier and then back, which is what we want. Again, we'll save this. Pressing the S button. R to reload and then we'll press L to load up our keyframes. So basically that's that's how you use MovieCam. Hopefully you've learned from this uh, tutorial and you can make your own movies now. And I'd love to see some of your creations uh, once they're made. So please uh, send me a message or a link. That's pretty much it. Um, you can also watch our movie that I created earlier today after this tutorial, which will be part of this video. So, thanks again for watching. 
this is the uh, Rome Total War movie that I made earlier today um, using the movie cam feature with Rome Total War. Um, I've used the uh, Battle Reef play I uh, played uh, last night with um, my fellow clanmate um, COH Dabby and we played a fun battle against Score PSR and Greek Diomesis. So hopefully you enjoy this. Again, it's nothing amazing. It's just something that I created earlier today just to demonstrate um, the actual feature of Rome to War movie cam. So hopefully you've enjoyed the tutorial as well and um, I'll catch you later. Uh, see which Piper. General has thrown away his life, and now he feeds the carrion birds. His men may soon be bird food too. <laughs> 